Hi, this is Joe from the Boone County Extension Service. and we're, Today we're going to talk a little bit about winter damage. We're getting a lot of calls here at the, the Extension Office regarding shrubs that have been damaged during this, uh, this winter event that we had back right around the holidays. Uh, it occurred right around Christmas Eve was the, the worst of it. Uh, we're seeing a lot of damage showing up, particularly as the, the, it's getting warmer outside. We're starting to see a lot. This is a skip laurel or a cherry laurel. This is probably the one we're getting one of the, the most calls on actually. This particular plant is probably to totally dead to the ground. Um, if you take a knife or your fingernail, break one of these off and kind of scrape it. If you do not see any green underneath, then this is probably all dead material. If it breaks off like this, it's probably dead. This may not recover, that may be a, an outright kill. Uh, we had several in this same location and the polar vortex of 2013, 2014 winter actually killed those. This was the last surviving member of that and it looks like this winter has probably taken it as well. This particular plant is, is rated as zone six hardy, which we are zone six, but honestly this one does not perform very well in our area and we've seen multiple times uh, with with win really hard winters that these will be severely damaged or killed outright just because just because of the low temperatures. This year I think um, the problem was we had a severe temperature drop. I went back and looked at the data on our uh, mesonet site out by the Arboretum and it went uh, in a 24-hour period it went from 45 degrees to minus 9 within 24 hours so that's a 54 degree temperature drop within a 24-hour period and most plants just cannot take that especially broadleaf evergreens like these uh, a lot of uh, other plants that are dormant uh, like this Harry Lauder's walking stick here did fine but plants that transpire through their leaves like a broadleaf evergreen really had a hard time with that type of temperature drop and be able to keep these leaves hydrated so that's why we're seeing all the damage Okay, here, here's another plant that we've, we're typically getting calls on that people are experiencing damage on. Uh, this is a blue holly, uh, very common landscape plant in northern Kentucky. Normally this stays totally evergreen, usually does not have a problem with our winters at all. This is a zone five plant, so it should be able to handle our, our winters perfectly fine. But again, when we had that severe temperature drop coupled with the winds, we had a minus 30 degree wind, wind chill factor these plants just do not hold up well and they're going to drop some leaves and try to get rid of some of these leaves to, to, to make it through the winter. These, these aren't bothering me as quite as bad uh, just because if you take the limbs like we did with the cherry laurel and you scrape these you see green material underneath. Also you can notice the twigs are very pliable, very flexible, so they're not breaking. So I think these are going to recover, they're going to refoliate as soon as we get a little bit more warm weather. So don't do anything right now on any of these. Don't get in here and start just cutting back and, and thinking they're totally dead or removing them. Just, just hold on, uh, you know, wait. I think these will flush out. It's, you know, this is a hardy plant. It just had to drop those leaves to get rid of those during that, you know, that really cold event. Um, usually you're not, you're not going to really know probably to mid to late April whether uh, you see any damage on these. It's going to take a while for that new growth to come out. Okay, here's another plant that we're going to look at. Again, we're getting a lot of calls from uh, homeowners on these. These are boxwoods a very commonly often overused plant in, in our local landscapes. If you notice, these are looking pretty bad. There's even leaves falling off as we see. Now this, this is a little bit different situation. This is winter damage coupled with insect damage, mainly uh, leaf miner damage. So a lot of the leaf miner damage was done last year, but beans, we had this really cold spell. It really kind of accelerated all this and it makes these look really brown and horrible. So whether we'll get very much stem by, die back on these, we might get some, but a lot of this is insect damage that actually occurred you know, last fall. So that's why they look so bad. These will probably re recover. Uh, it may take a while. Uh, again, hold off. Don't go in here and drastically do any heavy pruning on them. 
wait for that new flush of, of growth to come out a little bit later here in the spring and hopefully these will recover. To deal with the insect, the leaf miner, you will have to use uh, various insecticides, either a systemic or a spray to control those in the upcoming months. Uh, but we'll probably do a video a little bit later on that, uh, probably in early May. Here's another plant that we've, we've got here at the office that we're showing damage on. These are uh, Camacyphrus or Golden Hinoki Cypress. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of brown in here. This is all winter damage. Uh, some of them look a little worse than others. Uh, when you look at the stem material, it's still green. I think most of these will recover. It's just going to take it a little while. Again, don't go in here and cut these out or remove them or anything thinking they're totally dead. If you see the flexibility, the green tissue underneath when you do the finger scratch, uh, you're good. So just kind of hold tight on these. After the new growth starts coming out, maybe you can do a little bit of corrective pruning here and there to make them a little fill out a little bit more. But other than that, just hold tight and we'll see how these recover. Okay, here's the final plant we're going to talk about. This is Taxus or Japanese yew. And this is the one that really surprised me. Uh, this particular plant is kind of under the uh, uh, overhang of the house or the building here and it's also facing southwest, but it has a lot of browning, and that is very unusual. Usually, uh, taxis or ewes are pretty hardy in our area and can take just about any kind of winter weather that we have, and the fact that this year that this one browned is, is pretty significant. I think just the fact that it was dry, we had a very dry fall, so going into winter, this plant was probably not well watered. That's one reason that it's showing so much damage. It's mainly concentrated on the southwest side, if you go back here on the other side, it's not quite as bad as you can see, but mainly this one section right here is where we're seeing the damage. But again, it looks like most of this material is still alive, it's still green underneath. So this is another one that I think once that new growth comes out, it'll probably flush out and kind of hide most of this. You'll still get a little bit of needle drop, but I think this plant will probably fully recover and be fine.